a battery pack for Acro. Probably. I have no idea what the camera is seeing, so it's got a hope that this is seeing this is actually pointing at the display. Ideally I would have wanted to put the run cam 8 on top of right on top here. However, oh, I'm getting some So to my limit is killing these batteries, strange batteries, so I don't feel bad for the batteries full. Quick, but it does rather quickly.
Alright, so that's the solution. Oh well, let's see what has happened here. Let's see what it's hitting up against. Run, run. Oh, the antenna. ETX antenna. Alright, let's tighten this down. Would not want to burn up the video transmitter after all. I don't know if finger tight this thing. Tighten this thing rather. Alright, put that down so here. I hope you're still able to see the screen. Imagine putting all four motors in a perfect PCB circle. Um, 
Likewise, this guy from 190 is 190 millimeters. If you were to put that in a complete circle, so I'll put that in like so for me, going on right, not going on right here. The next time I do this, we'll not be doing any form of active trainer. And the props still have pretty good. I don't know how air mode handles the main throttle um, on this, but uh, so far, oh, yeah, that I went way below the required. As I was looking at the OS, the on-screen display. I went below the minimum battery voltage. I hope that has not irrecoverably destroyed the battery. So, in case we disconnect this like so, unpack that. Yeah, because I'm so. Ah. I'm trying to open this unit right now. Here, this one is properly, properly dead. I hope I've not killed the cell in the process, but tonight I'll go home see if I can resurrect it. This is the one that I want to fly right now. So this is where I start the video by saying hello, YouTube. I'm Matthew Taylor. <coughs> I'm Matthew Taylor. I'm actually here to do a little review on the RDQ, sorry, Race Day Quad um, 850 4S, sorry, 850 mAh 4S Lithium Polymer, sorry, <coughs> sorry, Lithium Polymer Battery Pack. So, four cells, 850 mAh, as I said before, which is the first time I'm going to be using it on this particular model, hoping for pretty good results. My issue was that I was previously, well, not an issue, but previously I was using these 3S battery packs, which worked great, and I've also been using these 500 milliamp hour packs, so these are both 3S, however, I find I wanted a bit more punch, so let's, well, let me set this up and see how it flies, put this down. Stuff. And remember, comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you want to see more of, tell me what you want to see less of. I totally forgot to do an actual weight of, the, of these batteries. When I get home later today, I'll take the weight and you know, take the actual weight and then do this for you. This race day quads, uh, I definitely recommend their pro products at any point in time. They're prices are very very affordable shipping same day shipping really is same day shipping which i like and i've benefited quite a bit from they appear to be located somewhere in florida so they so i'm i'm currently in kingston so i'm currently in kingston jamaica where we typically have sunlight most of the time in a nice open field that i can crash at will, nice green looking field. So here at Kingston Polo Club, nice and windy. Let me put this in. Oh, I have to switch. I was previously flying my Diatone 190, so I'll have to switch, go to my HGLRC sector 132, select that model. Yeah, selected, good. So I'm going to plug this in. Oh, 
Okay, so my props are actually, I forgot to warn you, dinged, dinged and dented. I typically don't fly acro, but since of late I've actually been doing acro only, as opposed to the stability mode that this thing comes with from factory, so this will be an acro only flight. Let me clean off the lens. Okay, so this is what the camera lens FPV. So I'm currently using the Tarzier, um Tarsier, yeah, Tarzier Tarsier um, 4K. Camera, let's clean off this lens here. Clean, clean, clean. Yes. So. For those of you who do not like to see nicked props, I'll be soon switching over to the Beta FPV um, units here. Beta FPV, this is the 3030 unit, whoop sized model. I've never actually attempted to fit this one before, but 1.5 millimeter hub in the center. So let's hope for some good results. Prop this down, hoping that you can see the camera. You can see the. I have no idea what. Let me see what this is. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I can't see the FPV. Uh, so, what I will be doing? Flying FPV. I'll be. I'll upload the FPV footage for you.
Let's do this. So I like how the I like how those battery that battery felt feels. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna touch the craft. And here is the what oh more of this warm though, but not scalding the hot. So this right here is how the battery. So the camera has straightened out. We don't want that. Let's go. Crap! This thing ain't recording. Shit. Oh, crap! Camera ejected. Battery. Okay, so unfortunately the battery, the SD card ejected, which is annoying. Is it recording? Crap, it's not recording. Crap, I have a... Okay. Yeah, so it's recording now. Alright, let us try this again. Yeah. Put back in one piece, just need to tilt. Yeah, put some tilt back on the camera. Yeah, let's try this. Oh, and clean the camera. Oh, yeah. There's some scaly stuff on the lens, but hey, I'm gonna have fun. Put some more tilt on this. Yeah, that tilt looks like some good tilt. Put that here, put that battery back in place. I hope I got this right. I don't have any form of DVR. Why do you have a DVR? But DVR on that's not on the dock. So Alright, yep, so that's Afro. Alright, let's hope that this was saved. Because I would be so upset if it wasn't. So stop recording. Alright, so stop recording on that. So this would have been the second part flight. So the disadvantage with this particular battery pack is that the casing is a bit soft. 
you hit something and yeah so this is the first flight out of this battery and I've already dinged it let us not be a pain in the ass prick like me but no I don't want to be a pain in anyone's ass but all right so second battery pack oh so the problem is that these metal screws the screws that go on the standoff are yeah a problem are the problem so let's swap in the second battery pack right here Again. What we're doing for the vlog. I suspect what has happened is that previously the battery slid forward in the earlier crash. Probably the earlier crash or when I was doing trying to do I should have noticed it when I saw Alright, so battery connected But I'm not seeing the blue light blinking So I don't know what the... Oh yeah, now I'm seeing it blinking, that's good So, as is customary Let's just clean off the camera lens Yeah, because of my shirt but Anyway Let's try this again. I hope you're able to see. I'm hoping to let you see the screen. I'm in air mode, no stability, nothing like that. But so far, from what I've seen, Say the price guy XM Plus is a receiver that I definitely would recommend. right now that I'm forgetting to watch my battery voltage which is something that I should actually do periodically
stop crossing the tree. I I did the very bad thing of not watching my OSD. I had a bit too much fun and as such let's say I ran it right down below 3.3 volts per cell. I looked up at the OSD and because I felt you know as a matter of fact I didn't feel the voltage sag. Something just told me, look up at the look up at the OSD where the battery voltage is. And I see the thing saying 3.28 volts per cell. And then I afterwards, no, 3.2 volts per cell, and then I said 2.8, and I'm like, okay, you know, this is just a sermon to right here. And now, however, the unit is in one piece, and okay, let me make sure the SD, yeah, SD card is still there, still recording, so that is, that's good. I think this may be one completed flight that's recording and stuff but one thing I can tell you though these batteries they really get eaten up very quickly so I'm gonna stop the recording onboard recording of this thing this is the Cadex Tarsier um, sorry Cadex Tarsier 4k unit press the this button here recording stops I can now safely disconnect this battery let's hope that I have not scuffed this one up in the process too yes there appears to be no scuffs so I haven't didn't even look at the flight before I disarmed after I disarmed I hope I have to look on the well you I hope you could see it on the actual OST so what this actually means I would put in the third and final battery. I would have wanted to have gotten this up and running. This is the one here, but there is thousand pieces. No motor clock. I have a motor I can't be motor clock. I put a I put a brand new motor in this and it still just does absolutely I was at home, I crashed, I initiated a flip over crash, and then afterwards I noticed some smoking happening. So I figured, oh, alright, so I'm trying to smoke some more. I need to smoke some more this time. No. Alright, let me check the thing in the camera lens. I'm actually excited to give this Risty Quad product battery a positive review. Cleaning the lens. Normally I'd have my bottle of Windex, but that's at home and I am not near home right now, so let's Yes, what we're doing for the vlog. And I hope to God you guys are all seeing. I mean, I was hoping that you all are able to see this. I should have put this somewhere a bit. Because I'm using the run cam. Round 5 orange. I can't see what you guys are seeing on this end. So let's 
fun and as always keep this tail looks good. Now, because I suck at Astro, which I am doing now, I height control is not something I have not mastered yet. But I'm doing, trying to do right all the right hand turns. That shot has called me out to say that I cannot do or don't know how to do well or not executing. Enough. This is this is um, this is all stock kids using the this is using all stock kids. Yeah, this is stock kids with the HDLRC um, sector 32. So I think they made it like 3.15. I've just deeply drained another battery. Two point something volts per cell. Oh god, this is not good. Can't believe I've just killed a let's say yeah, killed a new battery. New battery pack, just dead. Dead, dead, dead. Um yeah, 2.8 volts unacceptable, but at least a quad crashed in crash landed in one piece. So when I saw the voltage going down I simply I had began lowering the throttle gently and then tried landing it just like I would an airplane for this 
particular particular purpose so originally I would say that would have been the last part oh let me oh crap oh yes so the SD card is still in there it's still recording so I'll stop recording by pressing that button recording stopped we can now safely disconnect the battery without corrupting that footage on the card not there well let's see I didn't all right so I killed I killed that I killed oh you know what when everything else fails don't forget you have you just go back to let's go back to basics so these battery packs that I was talking about before I still have them so since I have them here I might as well use them up Let's put some killings on these HGLRC Sector 132s since I have them here. They must die. Will not be going home with any full batteries. That was the promise. Okay, yeah, this crashed pretty. anti-fingerprint thing that they have going on there but I guess we are going to find out now. Oh put you back here so you can watch what's going on while I kill and smoke some I don't mind these actual rates I have so what I'm doing for for y'all is to stop 667 degrees per second and for pitch and roll I think I've dumbed it down to 400 but the super rate and the RC ex exposure exponential is at zero yeah that's at zero yeah that's at zero right there so I might as well use battery for making the right hand turn as as I stuck at right hand, that makes me right hand turn, but I don't do them, so. Okay, I just pushed the thumbstick to almost full, and I see the battery voltage seriously sagging, which I wouldn't have noticed before. Let us do some battery right hand turn here. I actually think I'll stick with these words. On the basis that I think I'll stick with these words. I would love to give a shout out to Fry Sky and specifically the XM Plus team because I'm getting good range with my I range um, with my price sky transmitter and also the uh, sorry, no. Diversity antenna. I like the whole diversity concept. I think it's getting appreciated now, but then I will just do a
back into me on the basis that I would have been killing this bush right about now. Back in one piece, disarmed. Switch over to. Uh, yeah, so this. So I would say I'd get my money's worth. Oh, I just stopped recording. Okay, I stopped. Two seconds. See that that's the right hand caching. So what this actually means is that for me to get good at acro, I need to stop playing at home. all doing this with chopped up, beat up, um, the stock three inch props, which hey, they, they're nicked and you get, you may see some oscillation and jello in the video, but it works, it works, it works, all right, let's go again, hope you're able to see the video, oh goodness, I can't see what you're seeing. No. Okay. Oh, you took a shorty to when the camera is good. It's good. that battery folded. And I should have known better. You know that greed that we some of us have you're thinking, oh that last flight just to one last circuit. card is there which it is still recording stop the recording yeah the 
So what this thing means, I need to buy some more of those race day quad batteries because I think the for the punch out I get it is, matches probably my attention span or short attention span as it relates to this acro in close quarters that I would actually have more. So here I have space. So space is well space is good where you can do whatever but when you don't have in tight spaces can be a bit nerve-wracking or Discharge your motors, it's never a good idea, don't do it. You like me. I just do up button magnet magnet all the time. So starting off at 4.05 volts, which makes me wonder. Hold on, kinda good. Yes, antenna. is surprising me. Oh, alarming me. So, right, let's try this again. Oh god. I think I've really destroyed these batteries now because coming down to any form of punch out is dropping down to which, oh, okay, looks like my video transmitter is also going out because of this antenna pickup. I think I'm going to tighten up that antenna properly, which I neglected to do before leaving the house, did not remember anything about it. Run aground, that's a bad thing. Alright, let's see what I broke now. You heard something rubbing, so probably the battery. That be the battery. Um, one of the battery wires, most likely, will be Hello. 
but you know the one thing I hate about yeah sorry the one thing I hate about crashing is that I oh okay. first I thought I'd lost my SD card there with today's footage which should not have been fun is it still recording yes it is still recording let me hit the button to stop recording yeah so all in all I would have to say today was um okay. I have not broken a prop I probably might, might have put one or two additional nicks on one or more but at least no prop was completely broken That's the 850, but 850 turns up, you don't use this 850 model in might actually have something left in it so for some of us so we've moved on to the tattoo R line series so from moving from the 850 to 1300 milliamp hour all right so these batteries I'd some of these batteries are previously killed in this model I think this one may have been the last saving grace because I was using it to charge all six of these well six of these little lithium polymer 1s cells in this unit that has this XT60 mail connector right here so let's see what's what I'm gonna still need you you know, I had this connect, made, it, made up this little connector last night, didn't even test it. So I'm going to check to see if it actually even fits now. The 1300 milliamp hour is going to be extremely heavy, unnecessarily heavy, but it's one of those moments where I say, who cares? I'm out of the field now and I don't have, did not bring a, an appropriate field charger because I didn't think I was going to be having this much fun for so long out here. All right, so my con my contraption involves my, my contraption involves connecting this and this using this extension in this very crude manner. And Oh, sorry, there's an ant on my hand a while ago. So let's connect just like so. See if this works.
Okay, we got we got spark. We got the spark. All right. Ah, oh, need to clean this lens again. Lens is dirty. That's actually, I think it's good, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. Alright, so let's see what I destroyed now. I can see the I can see the quad out there. still there, camera tilt still
guess the only thing, other thing for me to reasonably do would be to, oh, I have some fully charged, what you call it, batteries to Q. These are the 1S batteries I was telling you about. Just gonna enjoy this. Uh, I'm just gonna enjoy this. All right. All right. All right. I 
I did get a full thing out of this, though. So, the difference with, I mean, monitor battery is dead, so can't do anything else. Um, feel all batteries conveniently dead too, so putting everything back in the box and uh, pack up now. So you guys, Matthew Taylor, signing out. Have a nice day.